Welcome back YouTube and congratulations to any of you who saw my video yesterday where I was going over Bitcoin talking about the green dots that were ranging lining up all the way from the daily all the way down to the five minute and also mentioning this inverted head and shoulders pattern which brought us up to our target that I'd mentioned was 16,814. It actually got up to 16,816. So the measure move was very accurate on that. Unfortunately, instead of having enough momentum to get us above that and retest this area to move upward, we got rejected at this area and that pushed us down. And what's worse is that we came below our trend line here. So now we are in a different ball game. So now we have to look at this whole big pattern right here, this upward channel that we just broke out of, get a feel for what's going to happen next for Bitcoin. So if the price drop has made you nervous, hopefully I can share with you what to expect from this break of market structure. Let's talk about it. Road Dog Crypto. Welcome back to Road Dog Crypto. My name is Lane, your crypto road dog, here to guide you through this crazy thing that we call crypto. Now we've got kind of a bearish situation going on. Since we did break down below this particular trend line, we broke in market structure. Once we draw a trend line, that line gets compromised. We're changing direction. We came down to 16,463, that area. We made a move up, but we can't be hopeful about this unless we break above this line right here. This is $16,651. How this usually plays out is that this is called a bearish retest. So most likely we will come up to this area. So right around 16,632, or a little higher, then we face a very likelihood of getting rejection there and coming back down to our next area, which most likely will be this trend line right here at 16,349. Now what it does from there, I'm not exactly sure. We take this stage by stage and level by level. However, there is the possibility that it can come down to this major trend line, which would encapsulate this whole segment here. So we're looking anywhere from 6,169 on up to, you know, 16,200. So let's just go ahead and kind of mark that area right there. And of course, what we want to be cautious about as we get rejected from here and start coming down, we can get hung up at this point or this point. But if we break this area here, that's a sign that we've got some more major down action to come. It's a good time to set stop losses. It's a good time to consider taking a short if we get rejected up here at say 16,500. 53 in that area. I would just recommend be careful. Be careful with altcoin trading right now too. At this point in the game, alts are kind of risky. So it's important to figure out what exactly Bitcoin's going to be doing. With a bunch of altcoins being sold for Ethereum, that hurt the altcoins. Now with Ethereum being sold and turned into Bitcoin by this whole FTX thing, now we're seeing Ethereum hurt a little bit and also seeing Bitcoin hurt just a little bit. I think this is mostly from market fear. This is one of those things that we'll just have to wait and see. The smartest thing to do right now is just to kind of go to our bigger time frames and get a feel for the indicators. So if we do come to the daily, and that in my opinion is probably the most important one to look at to get a feel. And you know, we still have the green dot on market cipher, but we can see that we got our momentum is starting to peter out just a little bit here. We're getting a curve to our momentum wave. So there should be a red dot that will print there shortly. Money flow is also dipping down. BWAP is coming down on the daily. This is kind of giving more strength to the idea of what we got going on the weekly with the red dot that we have there. It looked hopeful that we got a turnaround that would start pushing price up, but getting rejected where we did and coming down and breaking market structure is leaning toward the, you know, we may possibly have some downside coming. Now, whether that's going to be a lot of downside or just a little bit, just a retest of say these lower trend lines that we have to wait and see, because regardless of, of whatever is going on, we still have to look at the overall pattern that we're in until we break out of this symmetrical triangle. Remember, they can be kind of crazy to mess with. They can break up on one side and just totally change directions, can break out, break to the downside and then totally go up. So they're kind of tricky and not very trustworthy in my opinion. But the biggest thing we got to look at is the possibility of this being still being a bear flag, which could bring us down to lower levels, taking us down to our daily support level 12,275. Got a measure move coming down to about 10,007 from where I took it there. We've got some downward action to come over the rest of today and probably going into next week. And then we can see how Wall Street is reacting to this, whether we get a push up or further downside with maybe some more unexpected news happening. So hopefully guys, this is giving you something to apply to your own trading strategies, but just letting you know that I, I do see some more downward action coming since we got rejected up here. Until next time, my name is Lane, your crypto road dog. Just reminding you that you are in crypto at one of the best times. Probably the best strategy in my mind to imply at this point in time is dollar cost averaging, especially if you're new to the space or don't consider yourself to be a strong trader. You, you can't beat dollar cost average when you're near the bottom, but you're in the space at the right time. Don't despair. It will get better. We are getting closer and closer to finding 
finding the bottom of this bear market. And then there'll be blue skies coming over the next couple of years. Until next time, trade safely, trade wisely, and remember, you got this. Good afternoon, everyone. Captain Lane speaking and wishing you a safe travels to your crypto destination. For those of you traveling with mice, please securely position your cursor over the light button below and right click with your favorite finger. For those with touchscreen devices, we ask that you gently press the thumbs up near the bottom of your screen. Thank you for choosing Road Dog Crypto. Please trade wisely and enjoy the rest of your video. Is that you,